All right, welcome back to Flipped Classroom Training, video number five. Really quick, what we're going to do is we're going to make a very quick screen capture. We're going to do a really basic edit on it, and then we're going to upload it to the internet. Let's go ahead and double clip Camtasia. And as that happens, I'm going to open my OneNote page because I'm going to be writing in OneNote for this video. You'll notice that Camtasia automatically saved the size of the video that I made last time, which is great. I have my tablet ready here on my lap. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's go ahead and hit record. And the countdown begins. The pressure is on. Now you should start. Okay, but you realize that you really need to get a pen ready for this video in OneNote. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and go. Okay, everybody, in this video we want to talk about how to do the math problem 2 plus 2. Now, if you have $2 and you add to that 2 more dollars, you end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dollars. Oops, so at this point you might think I have to start over, I screwed up. But no, all you have to do is get rid of this stuff you don't want them to see and start over wherever you like. You have one, two, three, four, four dollars. Okay, so that's going to be just fine because we can edit out all, edit out all of the bad stuff. So let's click stop. Okay, so we have our screen capture here, obviously. Um, we would need to edit it, so we're going to click Save and Edit. I'll just save it as Capture 4. I'm going to get rid of everything else so that the computer moves a little bit quicker. I'm just going to save this in YouTube Dimensions. And okay, let's edit this thing. Now I should say, we're going to do some really, really basic edits to this video, and there's a lot more complicated stuff that you can do in Camtasia, which is really cool. Uh, I'm going to direct you towards some videos that can help you with some more complicated edits. But for now, let's see what we need to do to this video. Okay, so you notice that all that stuff that I just said shouldn't really be in an instructional video for your students. So. What's cool about this is you can see where my audio is here. and You can see where the audio that I actually want starts right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this sort of uh, timeline, I guess you could call it, right here, right where I want the video to actually start. I'm going to take this green tab right here. And I'm going to drag it all the way back to the beginning of the video. Now, all that stuff is stuff that we can just completely cut out. So I'm going to click the Cut button. That's it. Now my video is going to start where I want it to. Okay, now there's a mistake that obviously I want to take out. What I usually do is I find where the audio that I actually want in the video begins. So I think it might be somewhere up here. Let's see. You have one, two, three, four. That's correct. So the audio that I actually want begins right here. And the audio that I don't want, we need to find that point as well. Let's see. You end up with one, two, it's right there. So we're actually going to cut out this entire piece from that point over to that point. Now if you want to be a little more precise with this you can always click the zoom in button. You can also zoom back out here. But I'm just going to cut all of that stuff out. Now let's see what we have. I'm going to go back to the beginning using this button here. Okay everybody, in this video we want to talk about how to do the math problem 2 plus 2. Now if you have two dollars Okay, so we don't need anything else, so we can edit out the rest of the video here. If we wanted to, you can see there's kind of this empty space right in here where I didn't say anything. 
You could cut that out really easily if, as well if you like. I usually like to do that. So you can cut that out. And now your video is finished and it's ready to be posted on the internet. Well, I guess we should save this project first, shouldn't we? Let's save the project. I'll just call it test project. Now if you wanted to at any point, you could close this out and come back and start editing again where you left off. But let's just produce and share this thing now. You click this button right here and you can see that you have several options. You can share on screencast.com, on Google Drive, on YouTube. You can actually save this file as an MP4, which is a type of video file, and then you could take that file and post it wherever you want on the internet. I'm just going to share it with YouTube. I'm going to click Next. So you do have to have a YouTube account to be able to do this. So if you don't have that, you'll want to go to YouTube and set up an account with them. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. Uh, my username is called Red Rocks Math. You put in your YouTube password here. You click Next. And then you put in all of the information. I think it requires you to fill out all the boxes. This is an educational video here. I'll make it public so that everyone can see it. And then all you have to do is click Finish, and it automatically uploads it to your YouTube page. It's going to render that video and then it's going to upload the video. Um, I don't want to wait around for too long, so I'm just going to click cancel. And that's all I really want to show you in this video. Now, as I said earlier, there is a lot of pretty nice and complex editing that you can do just right here within Camtasia. And there are several really good videos online dedicated to that. This is the web page here. I'll uh, put a link right on this video that you can click to go directly to this web page. And you can see there are a number of really good videos uh, right down here for our basic editing in Camtasia. And you can find videos just like these for editing in Camtasia really all over the internet. All you have to do is Google it. So okay, that's it for that video. Here's your video quiz. I would like you to upload your first instructional video to YouTube or to whatever website you decide that you want to use. Alright, good luck with that and I'll see you all in class.